Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. It is currently Saturday. Yes. And we are about to do some running around. We're gonna go to Sherry's, well, one of Sherry's favorite spots ever. Where are we going? Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave, we got some other things we're gonna do this weekend. This is gonna be a fun, we get to spend the weekend together vlog and it's a beautiful day here in Anchorage. In fact, today is kind of an important day. Now it's currently 23 degrees out, and some of you guys may be saying, Adam, for like mid-April, that's pretty cold. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what Sherry's saying as well. Um, and it is cold. We actually had a cold streak this last week with like horrible, horrible winds. It got super cold. Like single digits and with like real feels in negatives. Like, with like negative 18. Like negative 18 with the wind chill, which <sighs> is ridiculous. It's terrible. But the reason today is so important is that the temperature's rising, it's 23 degrees, but tomorrow is supposed to be in the 30s, and then for like two weeks, it's supposed to like raise into the 40s, like the mid 40s, yeah. and the hope is that this is like the last cold day of the year, and then finally, the snow will start to melt. We still have like two feet of snow. We have a lot of snow, <laughs> like <needs> to go <laughs> so much snow, but once it gets into like the mid 40s, yeah. it goes quick because of how much sunshine we have right now. Yeah. So today, maybe like the last feels like winter day. Fingers crossed, I say that and then we'll probably get 80 feet of snow tomorrow. I know, but I'm kind of tired of having to wear these everywhere. You are cute in mittens though. Oh, thanks. Mittens are adorable, <laughs> so there is that. But let's go to Tidal Wave, let's look for some books for Sherry and then, uh. Let's just get our weekend going. Um, I don't want to say that we're completely predictable, but yeah, we're stopping at Aftershock for coffee first. Sherry, do you think anybody watching this video is surprised by that? No. <laughs> you shouldn't be. Coffee check. I got iced Americano with sugar-free... Coconut. Coke. Coke, I'm a moron. <laughs> I did not get a coffee. I got Shocking. a watermelon Italian soda. With sugar-free watermelon? How is it? Really good? Yeah. It's a watermelon. Dang it! Yeah. Yours is better than mine. Crap. <laughs> Here we are, Tidal Wave. Now, my plan today is not to buy any books for me because I'm in the middle of a series that I really love and I don't need any more books. I need to finish the books that I have, Sherry. You, on the other hand, can get as many books as you want within reason. All right, we just got in here and it looks like Sherry already found a book. How do you already have it? We've been in here like 30 seconds. The Library of Lost Things. Oh, wait a second. This is what I just told you about. It's described as like fangirl meets Jane Austen, and I'm sorry, yes. You love both those things. Yes. So, apparently that's coming home with us. All right, there's one book. You ready to go? <laughs> so one of the best things that I can do in a bookstore is actually disappear. Because if I like hover around Sherry, then she thinks that it's like it's time to go, or my board want to leave. So like when we get in a place like this, I let her do her thing, and I just like walk around. I'm super fascinated by this book it's called The Short History of Robin Hood. It talks about England's greatest folk hero. It looks into different historical figures that they think um, could have been where the Robin Hood story started from. That's pretty cool. Um, you guys know I couldn't see this book and just walk by, right? Like, oh boy. I, yep. This is this is as good as I was hoping it would be. Look who I found. You only have one book though. Just the one. <gasps> what? Why? Because everything else on my list is not here. What a sad day. Literally nothing. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I did find a book about mullets. Oh boy. It was amazing. Okay. We're getting ready to leave and this is interesting that if you purchase anything, like 2021 calendars are free. A cupcakes calendar. Cupcakes? I mean we are a couple months into the year, but still. Chihuahuas and scooters, chicks, tractors, a countdown to Christmas calendar. <gasps> I feel like we need that. Well, since Sherry wouldn't let me get the countdown to cal Christmas calendar, I guess we will uh, go ahead and leave Tidal Wave. I think we're gonna head home now. Um, as Sherry builds up energy, we're trying to break up our outings that we need to do over a weekend in like small bites. Yeah, I mean, we have a few other errands to run, but I just don't have the energy for that. So yep. it's just kind of like we do something small like this and then I go home and rest. Yep, and then tomorrow we will go back out and do a couple more things. Yeah. So I think we're gonna head home now, but 
tonight I'm gonna show you guys dinner that we make, and it is one of our favorite recipes. I'm excited for it. It's a butter chicken recipe that we actually got from Auburn. It feels like most of our recipes <laughs> like, are from Auburn, <laughs> certainly keto ones. Yeah. Um, and this is so, it's so good. We've so showed, good. I think we've shown it on our channel. Um, maybe we haven't, but I know she has not her channel, so I'll link it down below. And it is, it is as good as like restaurant quality butter it's chicken. So good. In fact, yeah. I would argue I've ordered butter chicken at a restaurant that is not as good as this. Yeah. So you guys are gonna get to see that. You're gonna get to see us like do our tomorrow stuff. But for now, let's get Sherry Bath home. And let's get me home without my countdown to Christmas calendar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just checked the mail on the way home and we got our new registration sticker. So look at that. We are now legal until 2023. Hey Sherry. Are people gonna judge me when they see what's in that box? They should. They should? Oh no. Okay, I'm tempted to make excuses for this. I wanna like, <laughs> Sherry says no. I wanna like defend myself and argue my case. Here's the problem, I'm in the wrong. There's like no arguing. This is just me being lazy and dumb and it annoys me too, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, I don't even wanna show you guys. <laughs> Just look at this. So you might be like, Adam, what is that? It just looks like maybe a box that you're donating to charity full of like old tumblers and to-go coffee cups. Uh, dirty dishes, you guys. These are all from the back of the Jeep. Now, to be fair, this is just from like two days ago because I needed breakfast on the go as I was going to like teach. But the rest of these, like I leave the house and I fill up a water bottle and I drink it and then I just like throw it in the back instead of taking it inside the house. And so it's like coffee cups and water bottles and water bo Oh, there, I've been looking for that. <laughs> Oh and like my gosh. big Seahawks tumbler. Worst. Sherry, I want to just, I want to say right now publicly mm -hmm. that I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm in the wrong. Yeah. You are right. I need to do a better job. You're smart. I'm dumb. You're pretty. I'm ugly. Like, I'll keep going. I don't know if we have space for all of these because <laughs> I didn't realize we still have this many water bottles. Surprise. Uh, here's the good news, you guys. We got a lot of water bottles. <laughs> huh. Look at all that. I'm, I'm really sorry. I do want you to know that I love you very, yeah, very, much. You very much. Thank you. Um, hey, Sherry, what did you just find? Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. I mean, in some ways, that's actually really cool. Disgusting. <laughs> the way they, oh, sure. It's terribly disgusting. Um, but the upside is that we live in cold Alaska, <laughs> and this kind of stuff just freezes. And at least it's not, like, rotting. At least it's not rotting. See? Oh, gross. Silver lining, Sherry. Silver lining. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm still so happy that I found this one. I've been missing this. This is one of my favorite to-go coffee cups. And I'm like, where is it? Look at this one. One of you guys sent us this one. It's a Disney Alaska one. Clearly I love that one. Oh, that's got some frozen coffee still in it too. Um, there's a Starbucks one. There's a Disney Cruise Life one. That's, whoa, there's some water in that one. Like, look at that. It is now dinner time, so I'm gonna grab the butter chicken recipe off the fridge. Now I'm not gonna vlog like this entire process because again, I'm gonna link down below to Auburn's video where she makes this. She does a much better job of this stuff than we do. Um, but I do wanna show you a couple steps along the way because this, I really mean it, this has become one of our very, very favorite recipes. It is so stinking good. And one of my favorite things about this recipe is how it makes the whole house smell. Like this recipe tastes good, but when we cook this, the smell is just like, Oh, in fact, we love this recipe so much that we have like a dedicated butter chicken spice thing, which is now empty. I've used it all because of how much we make this recipe. Um, so let me show you guys just a couple steps and I'll show you the end result. I really wish that you guys could smell this. You are, you're really gonna miss out. This is one of those recipes that you need to plan in advance. So the butter chicken needs to marinate for about 24 hours in advance. So I actually got this together yesterday. Um, and this is just like butter chicken spices and yogurt and some lemon juice. But even mixing it last night in the bag, um, it smelled so good. Here's some of the things that we're gonna need. It's things like tomato paste and ginger and garlic. And I've got to cut up an onion and heavy whipping cream and chicken stock and, Oh, this beauty right here. But I'm gonna go cut the onion. I'm gonna get this stuff going and I'll show you dinner when it is finished. Okay, at this point, all we have in there is onions and butter and garlic and ginger. And I kind of wish they made a candle that smelled like this. Like, can I get this as a candle? Because it smells so good. So the butter chicken is done. 
Oh man, Sherry Beth, yeah. I need your thoughts on this. It's so good. One of our favorites. Yes. Now most of the time we have butter chicken, we actually just have it by itself. Like we don't put it on anything or with anything. It's just that deliciousness. But tonight we decided to have it with cauliflower rice. So we have some in the microwave going, warming up. We're gonna put down like a bed of cauliflower rice. Then we're gonna cover it with the butter chicken. And I, I'm just so excited. While this has been cooking, I've been over here at the dining room table editing the uh, cinnamon roll video that you guys will have already seen. And if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? It went up yesterday. Uh, we made keto cinnamon rolls and it surprised both Sherry and I how good they turned out. Uh, we did not think that any type of cinnamon roll was gonna be a reality for us on keto and they were good. In fact, I already know that tomorrow morning I'm gonna make a cup of coffee because I've already got the coffee pot set for the morning and I'm gonna have a couple cinnamon rolls and it's just gonna be a good morning. But before we get to a good morning, we are gonna have a good night. Look how amazing <laughs> that looks. Get a little bit of sauce in there. Sherry, you are the best. Mm -hmm. Hello friends, it is the next day. It is Sunday. I'm getting breakfast going uh, and you guys know exactly what I'm having. Of course I am having cinnamon rolls. I wanna show them to you and I'm about to make my coffee as well, but look at the cinnamon rolls. You can see you got a few of them on the plate here. Uh, these on this side, I actually just warmed up and I topped them with some of that cold maple butter, hopefully to add a little bit more of that maple flavor. And then there's one with the icing. So cinnamon roll, check. But now I need my coffee and I'm using my Sasquatch mug today. We recently purchased a bunch of new syrups. I think now all of these are sugar-free, which is so nice. And this chocolate chip cookie dough has been my go-to. It is so stinking delicious. Now we can get the day going. Oh, you guys, I have found it. This is the best, this is hands down the best way to have these. Like just a bunch of cold maple butter on top. Um, this is a game changer. To me, this just took these cinnamon rolls from like, yeah, they're pretty good, they're okay, to like, these are great, I want more of these. I'm actually a little bit bummed that our keto cinnamon roll video already posted because I wish I would have tried them like this with cold butter just like slathered on top. Oh my gosh. So Sherry already had one of these this morning, but she did not have it like this. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. I need you to try this. Yeah, oh yeah, it's messy. It's not, it's not a pretty thing to eat, but I'm telling you, the coldness of the butter, the added maple, mm -hmm. what do you think? So it's been a couple of hours, but it's been a really productive couple of hours because I actually knocked out a project that I've had on my to-do list that I've been like working on a little bit. It is the Mother's Day gift guide. Can you guys see this? For Shop 49th. Sure, and I went through and picked out uh, some items that we think celebrate mom and support small business. We went through and picked out items from uh, two of our Shop 49 featured businesses from each of the last three months. So there's six items. We published that over on the Shop 49th website, the Leg Life and Shop 49th Facebook pages, the Leg Life and Shop 49th Instagram accounts. So if you follow us on social, hopefully you've already seen it. It's such a nice project to just have finished. And actually the Mother's Day gift guide wasn't my idea. It was actually Auburn's idea. Uh, she's been helping me, helping me with Shop 49th stuff. And as soon as she said like Mother's Day gift guide, it was like, of course, like that makes the most sense. So fingers crossed this works and drives business uh, and sales to our small businesses. I love the idea, I love this project, and I love, love, love that the Mother's Day gift guide is out and done. Speaking of gifts, uh, I actually received something I wanna show you guys because it is amazing. Uh, for my birthday, my friend Joel sent me something that when I opened it, like I didn't even have words, I just, I was in shock and I'm still in shock. I just keep looking at it because how amazing it is. Uh, I'm a Funko Pop fan. Joel lives in Washington State where Funko is headquartered. Look what Joel got me. You guys, it is an Adam Leg Life Funko Pop. Look, he has on flip-flops like I do whenever there's not snow on the ground. He has on shorts, which I wear. He's got a hat and the hat and the shirt are Seahawks colors. I'm just, oh, are you kidding me? Look at that, it's the special edition Funko. What? This is so, so cool. So Joel, thank you so much, friend. Oh my gosh, that is the kind of piece that like I'm gonna cherish forever. And there's been hint that there may be more Funko Pops coming 
to the Leg Life series. So stay tuned for more on that. So Sharon and I are sitting down for our Sunday evening project. This was like the one weekend thing we needed to get done this weekend. Uh, these are all of the thank you cards and Patreon exclusive stickers to all of the people who support us over on Patreon. Like look at how crazy this is, you guys. It's like 84 different people who support us monthly. And so cards are going out to them. Also look at how adorable these are. I found like these, there you go, like thank you stamps. Perfect. So. Patreon cards going out. We've got to put stamps on them, labels on them. <sighs> All the stickers are in there though. All the cards are handwritten, ready to go out. Look at that, you guys. All finished. All of our patron thank you cards and stickers going out the mail. In fact, I might take it to the post office and mail it tonight. So it's like 6.30. I guess we should probably start thinking about dinner. Sherry's coming downstairs too, because we're like, yeah, we need to like eat something. Neither one of us, um, is really hungry. Not feeling great. Sherry's not feeling really good. I got like literally zero hours of sleep last night. Um, and so I just, it's been a day. That's, that's what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Today has been a day. And so it's one of those things that like, we don't wanna make dinner. And so we decided, you know what? We're gonna make a charcuterie board for dinner. We're not gonna cook a full meal, but I am excited. This actually puts me in a good mood because I get to use my brand new charcuterie board. My birthday board. My birthday board. <laughs> so, charcuterie board number one on the beautiful birthday board. Let's go. So in case you have not seen it, I showed it in a couple of vlogs ago. Got this from one of our Shop 49th businesses. Um, oh my gosh, he has a homestead here in Alaska that is filled with Alaskan birch trees and he harvests them and makes products out of those. And I got this amazing charcuterie board. So let's load this thing up and uh, have some dinner. So the first cheese Sherry just pulled out, um, <laughs> it's, we're definitely not gonna have that one. That one going in the trash. Just like that, dinner is served. Now I know that this is a lot for two people, but you can't have an empty charcuterie board. <laughs> and so we're just gonna leave this out for the rest of the night. We're gonna kind of graze on it all night long. We've got like one kind of cheese, two kind of cheese, three kind of cheese, four kinds of cheese. We've, well, I guess technically five kinds because we've got peppers with cream cheese. We've got some blue cheese, stuffed olives, some homemade ranch dressing I made the other night, some mesquite smoked turkey, some salami, uh, some chicken, some carrots, some pickles, oh, my goodness. Sherry Beth, what are you about dinner tonight? I'm excited. Yeah? It looks pretty good. It does look good. This is my plate and I am not mad at this. That is a good keto dinner. So the last thing I'm doing today is actually working on our meal plan for the week. I've showed this form in a few videos now. It's kind of our new meal planning form. You can see it's got groceries over here and then meals over here. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do this week is use a lot of the stuff that we have in our fridge. So we have everything for this meal. We have everything for the steak and chimichurri. I'm also going to do like a meatballs and a mushroom sauce on Wednesday. And the only thing I need for that are mushrooms which I already have on the list. So I don't think this week I'm gonna do the entire week of meals. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do three days because that will kind of get rid of the stuff we have in the fridge. And then midweek, we can do the meals and the grocery shopping for the second half of the week. I think that that will work a little bit better. It sort of encourages us not to like go to the store today and stock up an already full fridge. Let's use the stuff we have. Uh, so that is the plan for this week. Knock out a couple days, use what we have, and then go shopping midweek. Friends, that is where we're gonna end the weekend vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us on another Leg Life weekend. Uh, I think I might have mentioned early in the vlog that this was like the last kind of cold few days. And I just checked the weather, you guys, and it's so true. Like it's warming up into like the mid 40s. Next weekend is supposed to be almost 50 and sunny. And I'm so, like I am so looking forward to next weekend. Uh, so we love hanging out with you guys. We love bringing you along with our life. Sorry we didn't do a ton of stuff this weekend. Uh, a combination of just like how Sherry's feeling, how I'm feeling today, uh, and then just like obviously health stuff still with Sherry. But we did a few things. We got to go to a bookstore, which is always a highlight. You guys know that. Uh, got to use the charcuterie board, which I thought was pretty cool. Again, would love to have you check out the Shop 49th Mother's Day gift guide. The link to that is down below. Uh, would love to have you guys uh, celebrate mom and shop small. Friends, we love you guys so very much. Thanks for being a part of our community, our journey, and just our lives. We love you and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.